Hey everyone! Today we will be attending the soft opening of the newest building in the UP Manila campus, the most awaited UP Medical Sciences building. Let me introduce myself a bit. I am from UP College of Medicine Class 2020, the last batch to be able to have their lectures in the old BSLR. I graduated under the Intermed program of the college. And during my stay at UPCM, I served my term as the UP Medicine Student Council Chairperson for the academic year 2017-20. to Today, we will be attending the soft opening of the UP Medical Sciences Building as a former MSc Chairperson. And along with my other fellow MSc Chairs, Louise, Danny, Leandro, Mark, and Franco, we will give you a short tour in the new UPCM Medical Sciences Building, also known as the Henry C. Senior Hall. The UPMSB is located behind the Bobby de la Paz Hall. This 11-story building aims to support UPCM's thrust of promoting collaborative research on the country's health challenges and to provide a venue for medical students to obtain dual and higher research-based degrees. As you enter the UPMSB, you will be welcomed by a wonderful artwork called Landas ng Paglilingkod. This piece of art was donated by UPCM Class 1995 and was designed by Dr. William T. Chua. The lobby is adorned by a painting by Lala Hara Tuazon entitled Pasasalamat, Usbong at Yabong, inspired by the poem Salamat sa ating guro, written by Dr. Raul Hara, the artist's father and one of the college's esteemed teachers. On the left side, upon entering, you will see portraits of some of our most valued alumni. There are four elevators that cover the 11 floors in the building, all of which were donated to the college. We are going to the third floor of the building. This is where we will be having today's program, specifically in the Ramon S. Ang Auditorium. The auditorium can accommodate around 200 people in the audience. They say that this is one of the two auditoriums in the floor, and that said, it's giving me a DSLR West and East vibe, except it's in the South. <laughs> And in the traditional UPCM way, we start the program with med choir singing. I miss that. We then had speeches from some of the people who made this possible. Associate Dean Cruz, Dean Chong, Dr. Jose for Dr. Gap Legaspi, Chancellor Padilla, and President Danilo Concepcion. We ended the program with a Thanksgiving message from the tandem who envisioned this building, Dr. Rodisi and Dr. Agnes Mejia. In 2015, Dr. Agnes Mejia, along with her dean's management team, envisioned an infrastructure modern and conducive for students to master their theoretical knowledge and hone their clinical skills. There have been many struggles along the way, including a construction problem at its supposed original site, but here we are five years after that incident inside the new Medical Sciences building. This morning has been a celebration of everyone who made this possible. 47 alumni classes, OPMASA, OPMAFI, organizations, and even individuals who donated and believed in the same vision for the college and the country. Okay, isisingit ko na rin before we go. We sat at the third to the last row, pero kitang-kita pa rin lahat. Kayang-kaya mag-transfer kahit sa taas na kaupo. Let us take you to a short tour through some of the floors in the building. This is the second floor. We have more art here and a couple of simulations. So we've shown you the third floor a while ago. Let's go to the fourth. Ready na ang bumalik talaga ng medyo. <laughs> In the fourth floor, we have smaller rooms, good for meetings and maybe for SGB. 
also look at that space <laughs> wow <laughs> And in the fifth floor, we have more rooms. There really is a lot of space in this building. I'm looking forward to seeing the upper floors still being constructed. Those floors would include the student center and the postgraduate institute area, among others. <laughs> and our last stop for today, the Henry C. Senior Plenary Hall found on the 7th floor. It's a vast space, still with more artworks displayed. It also has an open rooftop deck overlooking UPPGH and the college. I was a university student council counselor when the issue on the original site happened and the incoming MC chair a few months after. So my term started with questions on ano nang plano sa building, paano ang classes, ang library, tambayan, itatayo pa ba yan? And to be honest, at that time, I didn't know the answer to any of those questions. So seeing this building today and a whole lot better than the original plan, it was like seeing the almost impossible come to life. This, of course, would not have been possible without the help of the 47 alumni classes of MASA and many other donors who believed in the leaders heading this project. Individuals and groups who also wanted to contribute to a better future for the students of the UP College of Medicine and more so for its target beneficiaries, the Filipino people. Congratulations to everyone! Looking forward to the building's turnover ceremonies in November and its official use in the months and the years to come.